Season 2 of New World is here, so we're going to have a look at the effect that that has had on the player numbers, as well as talking about a little patch that New World have dropped last night. We'll check the player numbers though, and we'll see what impact this means for the future of New World. You can ignore the fact that there was only 8,500 people playing, that's just because I'm recording this on like first thing Monday morning, obviously that is definitely not a peak time. But what's interesting is the peak that we've had in the last 24 hours at 25,000. Now, what does this mean? Perhaps not too much. So you can quite clearly see that season two for sure has had a bit of an impact. We were trending down like the new patch came, season one came in April. And then I actually don't know what this little bump here is. I'm not 100% sure. But then it was sort of like trending down. And then of course we got season two and the play numbers have bumped up and we had 25 and a half thousand pretty much from July. The last time we saw something like that was, well, effectively season one. And you can see that representative here at the bottom with the peak players. You can see the peak players the last time we had that was actually in April. That was season one. Makes perfect sense. So season two, whatever you think about it, has actually definitely had a little bit of an impact on play numbers. And it's had a positive impact on play numbers. The play numbers quite simply have gone up. And you can see in the last 30 days that the average has gone up. Now, keep in mind that... This is a couple of wind like a couple of days so it's not a very big window and um, this is obviously looking at the previous 30 days but you can see the fact that it's changed into a positive means that enough has happened that the average has gone up now what does this mean if i'm honest diddly and squat it would make sense that season two would at least bring some people back some people are trying the worm some people are doing the seasonal trial some people just want to do the story that all makes sense everybody's sort of okay with that however i think there's a lot more people who aren't coming back now because they're thinking well why would i bother if they existingly already played the game they know that the gear is effectively going to get a kind of a reset when we get the expansion so they're just waiting for the expansion on the other hand we did have the steam sale which i think is probably representative here in this bit here at the end of june and that did cause a lot of interest actually you do get quite a lot of people being like hey maybe i'll pick it up it's only like 15 bucks or whatever maybe i'll get it so there was a bit of a bump because of that and i do truly believe that this was all to be expected what i really think is important is what happens in the next coming month we've probably got transmog in august and then i think as soon as that's dropped they'll start talking about the expansion i still think that's a little bit late but i think they're going to get transmog out the door first and then i think the expansion if i'm honest i think it can probably going to come like late october but we'll see we'll see what they say in theory it would come at the very start of october but let's see what happens in practice and once we start getting the expansion hype all bets are off depending what's in it it could be very very popular or it could be meh and people just won't even give it a second chance either way the playing numbers are interesting that we got a little bump I think they'll die off relatively quickly, but depending on when we get the next bit of info, it could bump back up. I think actually summer is sometimes bad, sometimes good. I think it generally starts trending upwards again in August, but we don't really know if it's the time of period that's doing that or if it started trending up in August last time because we had big, big news. Either way, I think everything's going to really kick off in August. I think July might be quite quiet, but we'll see. And the next thing I want to briefly talk about is the upcoming fixes, which if I'm honest, I think has already happened because this was either first thing this morning or last night, depending where you are in the world. And let's face it, guys, I don't know if you've been following too much, but season two has had quite a lot of little issues i really hope we don't see these when we get the expansion that could really be a killer however let's just very quickly go through they fixed an issue that caused some of the journey tasks to not progress upon defeating the sandworm not sure how many people have killed the sandworm at the minute but more and more are killing it for sure they fixed an issue with the seasonal trial also not completing the journey they basically just fixed some issues with like the season pass effectively here they've actually fixed the unusually long uh, loading screen which is very good some people were getting stuck in that i got stuck in it but it wasn't actually related to the seasonal trial who knows what's going on there a bit of me feels like they've probably changed some stuff with preparation for the expansion here just like the ui change and the feel of the game it's perfectly like running fine for me but the fact that it's broken for quite a lot of people, I think they like they're prepping. That's my feeling is that they're prepping. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just on that copium. But yeah, I feel like they're prepping for the expansion. I could have sworn that we'd already seen a fix for this. They've fixed uh, something with the hotkeys for healing. You can now actually change your gear sets in 3v3 arenas. They've fixed an issue sometimes with the HUD that was oh, like messing up with the colors. Didn't see that one, but fair enough. And now they say player to player collision is disabled in raid groups. I'm not sure what was causing I don't actually know what that was. Was it in Outpost Rush? I haven't done that many. I did a few last night, but I don't know where they mean here because I don't remember it in the raid. 
I don't know. I don't actually know what that is or where it is, but fair enough, they fixed it now. Maybe it was just open world stuff. Actually, I bet you that's what it was. There were people who were trying to do like chess runs. Maybe they're in a raid group and maybe they're like blocking each other because they're in a raid group. Okay, I guess that makes sense actually. And then this one, I actually found this a bit funny. They fixed an issue that caused uh, First Light, old First Light to inconsistently show on the storage shared listings. First Light should now always show. The reason I find that a little bit funny is because like Katie in the dev like, video was like, you will definitely be able to get your stuff. And then for the first, well, I've literally never seen my old first light storage. Thankfully, I sort of saw that one coming and only had dies in there. I never had anything of value, but I was like, I just don't trust that that's going to work. And lo and behold, it didn't work. But you could apparently log out and log back in and see it. But obviously, I just couldn't be bothered because it was only dies. Either way, they apparently have now fixed it. Fair enough. Hopefully the people who have stuff stuck in there who didn't realise that can now go ahead and get it. So just a quick one, but I think play numbers right now make sense. If anybody was expecting season two to do gangbusters, I don't think that was ever on the cards. It was always effectively going to be a little bit less popular than season one. Even with the worm, even if you're very excited about that or whatever, I think it was always inevitable that that's what would happen. However, I think it's very inevitable that if the expansion really is good and hyped and everybody's happy about what we're getting, then you can expect the play numbers to start trending up and up and up and then we get it and then they'll start trickling down again. That's going to be the perfect way that things are going to go. It's perfectly normal. Just expect it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Big shout out to my YouTube members. And if you want to come and watch me on Twitch, I'm going to be streaming this morning actually. So you can come and watch me probably right about now. Then there is a link in the description below. Have a most beautiful day. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.